Warren Buffett's Best Investing Strategy for 2024 What if I told you that you could finally stop worrying about money? What if I told you that you can establish significant wealth without much effort even to the point that you'd never have to work again? Turns out that there is a simple strategy to do this and Warren Buffett has taken advantage of it, making him one of the wealthiest people in the world. If you want to learn this method, keep watching the video and discover the strategy Warren Buffett has utilized to attain his wealth. There are two main ways people make money. One is through active income, which is money you earn by doing a job or work. Think of it like getting a paycheck from a job where you work hours to earn money. Another way is passive income. This is money you can earn without having to work actively for it all the time. It's like planting a money tree. Once it's grown, it keeps giving you fruits regularly. An example is earning money from investments when a company pays you dividends just for owning their stock. Another great way to earn passive income is through real estate and ETFs, known as exchange-traded funds. Real estate can earn you money through renting out property, while ETFs can pay you dividends from a collection of stocks or bonds. We'll dive deeper into these options later, so stay tuned for more information on how they can help you make money without actively working. Dividend investing is a popular way to earn passive income for a couple of reasons. It's the investing strategy Buffett has utilized over the years to amass his wealth. The great thing about dividend investing is that you don't need a lot of money to start. You can begin with just a small amount ranging from $10 to $100. Additionally, dividend investing has the potential to make you very rich over time. Warren Buffett, through his company Berkshire Hathaway, owns shares in several companies that pay dividends like Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola is known for its long history of paying dividends and right now it offers a dividend yield of 3.04% per year. This means if you own Coca-Cola shares, you'll receive dividend payments four times a year, which is a great way to earn money regularly without doing any work. Depending on the company, dividend payments are paid quarterly, four times a year, and some companies even pay dividends monthly, 12 times a year. Buffett's approach to dividend investing has captivated investors worldwide. At the heart of his strategy lies a profound simplicity and focus on long-term value. If you aren't willing to own a stock for 10 years, don't even think about owning it for 10 minutes, Buffett once said, showing his investment ethos. Buffett's investment philosophy is grounded in the principles of value investing, a concept pioneered by his mentor, Benjamin Graham. Buffett seeks out companies that are not just undervalued by market, but possess strong fundamentals, excellent management, and a durable competitive advantage, or what he often refers to as an economic moat. He emphasizes the importance of understanding a business, saying, Never invest in a business you cannot understand. Buffett's attraction to dividend-paying stocks is driven by their potential to provide a steady income stream and their indication of a company's financial health. Dividend payments show a company's profitability and its management confidence in future cash flows. Our favorite holding period is forever, Buffett has stated, highlighting his preference for companies that not only pay dividends but can also increase them over time. Warren Buffett has a talent for spotting good deals and thinking long-term. This strategy has made his company, Berkshire Hathaway, a giant that covers many parts of the American economy. His way of investing is all about being patient, disciplined, and understanding how businesses work. This has made him a legend, and people everywhere look to him for advice. When it comes to dividend investing, Buffett isn't just looking for the stocks that pay the most right now. Instead, he looks for great companies that will keep paying and increasing their dividends for many years to come. He's more interested in how well a company will do over many years, not just in the short term. Warren Buffett says that stocks that pay dividends are usually more stable and do better than fast-growing stocks when inflation is high, interest rates are rising, and the economy isn't certain. But what's the best way to benefit from dividend-paying stocks? There are many strategies that smart investors use, but we will focus on how Warren Buffett does it. We're going to share his five key strategies for making the most out of investing in dividend-paying stocks. Number one, look for dividends that can last. The first smart move is to pick dividend-paying companies that can keep going strong. Warren Buffett, a super successful investor, always says the best way to avoid losing money is to choose investments that won't let you down. 
when you're looking into dividend stocks, you want to find companies that can keep paying you even though they hit a rough patch for a little while. Why does it matter so much to have a dividend that won't disappear? If people start thinking a company's dividend payment isn't going to last, they might start selling their shares, causing the price to drop. And if the company does end up reducing its dividend, the stock price might drop even more as more people try to sell their shares. Big-time investors or big funds might even sell all their shares if the dividend gets cut completely. A simple way to guess if a dividend might keep going is to look at how much of the company's earnings are used to pay the dividend. If a company is paying out less than half of its profits as dividends, it's more likely to keep up the payments, even if times get tough. However, some types of companies like rates and real estate investment trusts can pay out more of their cash flow and still be okay. Also, looking at lists like the dividend aristocrats, which include companies known for keeping up and increasing their dividends, can give you good leads on strong dividend payers. Number two, reinvest your dividends. Another smart move is to reinvest your dividends. Sure, getting cash from your stocks feels great, but if you just spend it, you're missing out on making even more money through the power of compounding. By putting your dividends back into your investments, you give your portfolio a boost and ramp up your earnings. Since the 1930s, dividends have made up more than 40% of the S&P 500's returns. This is especially helpful in times when the market isn't doing so well, as dividends can help smooth out the ups and downs in your investment value. Most investment platforms can automatically reinvest your dividends for you, and they can even buy partial shares so every penny gets invested right away. This way, with each new dividend payment, you're earning more, creating a cycle of growing wealth with each payout. Just remember, you have to pay taxes on dividends, even if you reinvest them. However, if you're using accounts like an IRA or a 401k, you might not owe taxes right away or at all if you're using Roth options, making these great places for reinvesting dividends. Number three, avoid the highest yields. Warren stated, don't chase after the stocks with the highest dividends. It might seem like a smart move because higher dividends could mean making more money faster, but high dividends can be a red flag. They might signal that investors don't believe the dividend will last, causing the stock price to drop. These high dividends might not stick around and could be just a one-time thing that makes the yield look better than it is. Stocks with really high dividends can also be very risky and their prices can go up and down a lot. So, unless you're good at looking into investments, it's smarter to skip the stocks with the highest dividends. Going for these could end up costing you a lot more than you might make from those high but not reliable dividend yields. Number four, look for dividend growth. Warren Buffett believes that how much a company can increase its dividend over time is way more important than the dividend yield it offers right now. Many investors only look at the high yield a stock is paying today and forget to think about the future. A dividend that grows can protect your investment from the effects of inflation and rising prices, which is important if you plan to invest for many years. It's important to keep up with inflation which means your investment needs to grow enough to cover the yearly increase in how much things cost. To figure out if a company's dividend might grow in the future, investors can look at a few things. First is the dividend payout ratio, which compares dividends to total profits. A lower number here means that the company has room to increase its dividends. Next, check the dividend growth rate to see how fast the company has increased its dividends before. A higher rate might mean the company's management is happy to give more to shareholders. Also, look at the earnings growth rate, because a company making more money can likely increase its dividends. If a company has a strong and steady cash flow from its business, it's more likely to increase its dividends and keep giving good returns to its shareholders over time. Number five, buy and hold for the long term. Lastly, if you want your investment portfolio to benefit from dividends, you need to think long term. This means picking reliable companies that pay dividends and sticking with them through thick and thin. Time is key here, but it's easy to start doubting your choice when bad news comes around. Take Warren Buffett's experience with buying Coca-Cola shares for his company Berkshire Hathaway as an example. About three decades ago, Berkshire bought 400 million Coca-Cola shares for about $1.3 billion. Now, 
those shares are worth about $22.4 billion as of September 2023. But let's talk about dividends. Today, Coca-Cola's dividend yield is about 3.1%. Not the highest, but for Berkshire, the yield on its original investment is huge. Coca-Cola is set to pay Berkshire over $700 million in dividends this year. That means Berkshire is making back more than half of what it originally spent just in dividends every year. This shows how powerful it can be to invest in dividends and keep those investments for a long time. Now, if you find investing in individual stocks too complicated, ETFs are an easier choice. They bundle many stocks together so that you buy a piece of all of them at once. For example, Vanguard International High Dividend Yield ETF focuses on high dividend companies and offers a 4.53% yield, meaning that you need $875,000 invested to make $40,000 a year. FDV, another ETF, has a 3.8% yield, so you'd need $1,035,000 for the same annual income. It's simpler than picking stocks, but do a quick check on what's inside the ETF to assess the value. For real estate fans, rates are like stocks but for property investment. They must pay out 90% of profits as dividends, so you get high payouts. An example is XLRE, with a 7.44% dividend yield. There are many rates out there and most of them pay a monthly dividend. Investing in dividends is a very steady and profitable way to invest. By following the five tips we talked about, you can get better at dividend investing. Always remember, the key is to think long term. How do you plan to apply these tips to your investing strategy? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. We hope you enjoyed and gained some value from this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more informational content. Thanks for watching.